welcome to SNU Reels. Today we have with us our two esteemed guests, Professor Duncan Bentley, the Vice Chancellor and President of the Federation University, and Dr. Manish Malhotra, the CEO and Co-Founder of Employability Life. So, sir, my first question to you is: What is the scope and future of this collaboration? So, Anisha, thank you very much indeed for having having me here today. The uh, scope is very much about. Uh, participation in any collaboration which joins together the academic, the practical, and employers. And Employability Life and Federation University are partnering to enable students to be able to trial and see what careers they are interested in by hands-on practice on a regular basis, and also to learn employability skills so that they can get a practical job. So my next question to you is, uh, what is the scope and uh, how the students will ingrow the new skills that they are learning from this collaboration? So um, this collaboration is predominantly about explaining the new education pedagogy that we want to introduce in the education system. So we are talking about an experiential way of learning. Uh, learning which is uh, pretty much the demand right now for this generation, where the lecturers are becoming a bit boring. Uh, you're coming to the class and you're kind of getting the same assignment. How do we change the education system to incorporate the new learning? And plus, the, how do we create programs which are about the future of work? Because the world is moving so fast that technology is changing everything. The jobs that we have today will not be there in next two years. So how do we have that mindset of changing those qualifications? The way we learn um, to incorporate that changes very fast. So we need to embrace that there is a future of work that needs future skills. And when we know that the future is coming, then why the education should not be changed as well. Mm -hmm. So we need to move towards the future of education. And that's what we are doing here through Employability Life by creating the experiential programs that we want to distribute across India and get as many Indian students on that so that they can learn how this mindset can be created. That's really great. Uh, so is there any motto or agenda of this uh, collaboration? So the agenda is, is certainly about, as um, Dr. Malhotra has said, to ensure that Indian students across India in collaboration in small teams can work on real life projects which suit them and fit them for the workplace. So we make sure that they're far more employable and ready for the workplace. What it also does at the higher level is it encourages participation of people who wouldn't otherwise become involved in either university or these types of careers. It allows you to get excited and passionate in areas which you might not have tried. And so it's that opportunity which is important. And then the other element is the global network because it allows us to collaborate across borders, across boundaries. And Australia and India are becoming very close partners. And so that is why we're passionate about coming to India so that we can create connections with students, with faculty, but then to bring that back to Australia because we've got so much to learn from India and the Indian students because the Indian students are the largest dynamic learning population on the planet. You're the future skills leaders of the world. And so in Australia, we need you as much as uh, you hopefully would like to come to Australia and participate with us. And so my last question to you is, uh, is there any mission or vision of this collaboration? Like in the next five years, where are you seeing this collaboration to be? Great question. So um, how we are seeing this, we are starting first with um, running these experiential courses um, at your university and many other places in India. So these experiential courses are built for digital economy. Uh, some of the areas it tackles right now are um, cybersecurity, um, digital transformation, robotic process automation, project finance, and so on, so on. Now, what we want to do after distributing and delivering these programs India-wide, we want to learn the pattern of how the young students are behaving with this. Now, once we understand the employability uh, skill set at current levels and how this program is impacting them in a positive way, 
We then want to develop future degree programs with the partner universities in India to kind of change the curriculum to have more and more experiential programs in their curriculum, mm -hmm. which can increase our employability chance um, and entrepreneurship skills across the nation. So in five years' time, we would like to see that we work with a lot more universities across India, and we have developed and successfully running the experiential-based qualifications in conjunction with the local universities across India, which is impacting thousands of Indian students to get a positive employability outcome. Thank you, sir. So that's it, and we knew like how many, how much knowledge we got from this. And uh, I would suggest all the students out there to just accompany them and just to know about the knowledge and stuff. And that's it. Thank you. Thank you so much.